guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and much appreciate you guys uh, making some time out of your day to watch the video. Today we're gonna be talking about water temperature and how it affects fish. Um, it's sort of like one of the basic foundation, the, about basic foundational aspects of fishing that everybody needs to know because once you understand how water temperature affects fish, it gives you a good idea of how to begin to catch the fish as far as with the techniques and the approaches. So we'll sort of go, let's just go through it from like winter, spring, summer, and fall. And I'll sort of give you guys a uh, sort of a, a quick little uh, seminar on this here. Um, first of all, all fish are cold-blooded. Um, they're like snakes and turtles in the fact that the water temperature, it dictates their metabolism to a large extent. Now, one thing you'll find out about fish is their metabolism isn't directly affected uh, by the by the temperatures like other like reptiles like snakes and turtles because obviously it gets colder on with the air so the water is going to at the very most as far as it's, it's going to stay in the 30s so you're not talking about it getting down like to zero or something like that so you're always going to have a minimum of, of like the water temperatures in the in the low 30s at the very minimum so therefore a fish tends to be a little bit more active uh, when it's cold than other type of cold-blooded creatures but for the most part, that still holds true. It's like the colder the water, the more inactive that a fish move, the slower that they move, and pretty much the less that they feed. So you're gonna find out during the colder weather periods of the year, you know, from like December to March, um, this is when a lot of times the fishing is a little bit tougher simply because the water uh, temperatures have slowed the fish down. They don't require as much food. They don't expend as much energy. Um, and they don't live as shallow. And that when the water's cold, the fish tend to be, live a little bit deeper and therefore it makes them tougher to catch, especially for people just beginning uh, to learn how to fish. Now, there are with the advent of, you know, the electronic technology we have in today, a lot of anglers have, have figured out how to catch those deeper fish in the cold weather months. But for somebody just starting out, uh, that's, you can't really jump right into that. So. During the cold weather months, you can expect fishing to be a little bit um, a little bit tougher. So for the most part, if you're fishing during the cold water months, there's a couple things to remember. Um, first of all, you have to slow down. You can't, you can't fish lures that move real fast and you can't fish areas that um, are in too shallow water. Say if you're fishing for uh, catfish or white bass or crappie or something like that, um, you gotta move that a little deeper. So first thing to remember, cold water, slow down your approach, fish a little bit deeper. Um, if you're not a highly skilled angler and you're just starting out, I would advise uh, to, unless you can go with somebody that knows what they're doing, to sort of not set your expectations real high. Now, what happens is you move into the spring period of the year, um, there's actually three different phases of the spring as far as water temperatures and how they affect fish. Most most fish will spawn in the springtime of the year with the exception of like perch, and perch will spawn a lot during the summertime. But you've got three phases. One is called the pre-spawn, then one is called the actual spawn, and then there's a post-spawn period. Now the pre-spawn period, it usually occurs for the most part when the water temperatures are in the 50s around the country. This is when the fish are getting ready to spawn. They're developing eggs, uh, they're fattening up, in preparation for the stress of spawning. And as the water temperature warms up to 60, between 60 and 70 degrees, a lot of the fish in the lake are actually spawning. They're up in real shallow water, actually nesting, bedding, laying eggs, that type of stuff. And after the water temperature usually gets above 70 and they're completed with their spawning, they go into a period what's called the post-spawn, which is sort of they recuperate from spawning and they start to filter out. A lot of those fish that were real shallow during the spawn, start to move out a little bit deeper. Some of the fish still remain shallow. Now, as it warms up even more, like in the summertime of the year, and when you have the maximum temperatures, that is when the bass are most active as far as their metabolism and their feeding. Um, water temperatures are hot, they're moving around a lot. The fish will use a lot of different depth ranges. There'll be some fish in super shallow water, some in the mid depth, some in deeper water, depending upon your water clarity. But the summertime and when the water is warm is a really good time to fish because a lot of the fish are active. Your, your catfish are active, your perch are active, all of your game fish are active, and there's a lot of different ways to catch them. That's why I really like fishing in the summertime. Also, I like fishing in the summer because you can wear shorts right off the bat in the morning and it's comfortable. You don't, get, you don't freeze. 
So this lasts all the way up until say late September, early October, where you start noticing daylight hours are getting shorter, temperatures are cooling off a little bit more. And what happens as those water temperatures cool off towards winter, the fish, they get even more active because they're feeding in preparation for the winter. And even though the water temperatures are cooling off, they haven't cooled off enough to really get those fish dormant like they are in the winter. So when those water temperatures start to cool off from like the 80s during the summer into the 70s and 60s and 50s, this is a really good time to go fishing because the fish are feeding actively, trying to fatten up for winter. Um, and it's gonna stay that way until the water temperatures get into the low 50s or below. So anyway, guys, that's just sort of a foundational approach. It sort of gives you an idea. There's a lot to it, Bat or fishing in general is a, it can be a pretty complex sport um, the more that you get to know about it. So what we're gonna try to do here is just do everything we can to simplify it so it's not so intimidating because I know how intimidating it was to me when I got started out. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk later. See you.